Hey guys, D1 here, and I'm doing a tutorial video for you today on how to effectively use the Niche Picker tool to uncover lucrative niches. With that said though, I wanted to give you a bit of theory before we jump in. Ultimately, the biggest mistake that I see Kindle publishers making is really focusing only on the keywords and keyword strategy to drive traffic back to your books. Now, while Amazon is absolutely a search engine, it's more important for you to decide on who you want to serve rather than a book that you want to create. It makes finding niches actually extremely easy as long as you understand what your ideal customer wants. Now, as an example, this February we adopted a dog and uh, us not being huge dog owners but pet lovers, we were scrambling for information. So let's start there. That's what I'm going to do. So I'm just going to go to the Kindle store here. And understanding what your ideal customer would be looking for is super critical. So I'm just going to go to Kindle eBooks here. We're going to go to the bestsellers list. Now, why do I go to the bestsellers list? The reason why is, is it gives us an easy snapshot of exactly what's selling. We don't have to reinvent the wheel here. Uh, so again, I'm just going to go to eBooks and this is where all of your categories are. Now, I know personally that the dog training niche or puppy training niche is in the home section. I don't see it here. Actually, I do. It's craft hobbies and home. But let's say that you couldn't find it here. What you could do is let's just say dog training. I'm just going to hit enter and uh, you can see here are the categories that are kind of pushing through. But what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go back to the Kindle ebook store here. We're going to go to crafts, hobbies, and home. And I want to go to animal care and pets. Now, again, we're still on the bestsellers list here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to run the Kbook software here. And initially what I want to do is kind of get an idea of what is going on in this marketplace. Again, with my mindset of all I want to do is serve somebody that has either just gotten a dog or is thinking about getting a dog or, or uh, you know, wants to train their dog further. So we'll just give it a second here. I can see that this is still a very profitable subcategory. And, you know, even though I am seeing a few dog ones here, I'm also seeing, you know, there's some fiction, um, you know, things that are maybe not for my ideal customer. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to dive in one step further here into the dog's training sorry, the dog section, you can see now that they're down to categories, breeds, care, health, and training. So if I was taking notes right now, I would be putting a, those three categories down. Like, you know, could I target specific breeds? Possibly. Could I target uh, care and health? Possibly. Could I do training? Possibly. Again, I want to start building out a hundred different ideas. This is not a time for editing your thoughts. Just off the top of my head, I can think of, um, you know, how to stop your dog from barking how to stop it from peeing, potty training, uh, crate training, teaching it manners, uh, teaching your dog tricks, what breeds should I buy, health issues, organic recipes. And again, I'm just thinking off the top of my head, these are all general ideas within the niche. Um, so again, I'm just gonna keep scrolling down here. And what I like to do before I enter any niche is kind of the, the test of can I create this? Um, you know, you'll see things like, okay, as an example, Caesar Milan, this, this is a authority. This is a celebrity within the marketplace, 800 reviews. I'm not going to say it's impossible, but this is a very difficult book for you to model. And by model, I don't mean copy, but I mean, if there's already somebody doing a successful thing within the marketplace, all you have to do is find, find something you can create, make it better than the competition. And ultimately you can expect similar results. So I'm going to keep scrolling down here. Um, you know, this has 832 reviews, but I would write this down, 101 dog tricks. That might be an idea. Uh, there's a puppy training guide here. Here's a perfect example. So I'm just going to click through to this quickly. And we're going to scroll down and look at this, 14,252 paid. You can see this is... Uh, doing quite well, about $1,000 uh, monthly. It only has 11 reviews. Uh, the description isn't super amazing, but to me, this looks like an opportunity for somebody who wants to get into the dog training niche to dive in. So I literally, I'm just going to, uh, you know, we'll just keep this open or I might even copy this into a new window. 
and we'll just keep our search here. So this is a great example, service dog training. That's something that I had never even thought of when I was just uh, whittling off those ideas. Now, one thing that you can do is you can also look through here and kind of see, uh, you know, here's another training your own service dog. Here's 50 smart dog training uh, tricks. Let's open this one and see how this one's going. This is 23,000 in the paid store. So another smoking book here. Uh, you can see it's only got 13 reviews. And if we really go down to even take a step further here, uh, you know, only half or five star. And we're looking at these reviews. You know, you can see some issues here. But overall, this, this I mean, to me, this is an absolute gravy niche. Instead of doing 50 dog smart tricks, do 100 tricks. Obviously, this book is selling 23,000 in the paid store. If somebody wants to come into the marketplace right now, you can see it's published August 21st, so it's not even on um, you know, the Amazon algorithm. This is a book that's legit selling properly. If I was to create a book exactly like this, dog training, 100 dog smart tricks, and then offer a free 200 dog recipe book. I'm not sure what that means. Maybe 200 recipes or 130 recipes. Step-by-step -step activities for full engagement, fun and increased dog IQ. These are all heavy, heavy keywords. So again, get your notepad ready. Dog training, uh, you know, dog IQ. So we're really onto something here with this word dog training. I might go back to uh, just dog training now here on the Kindle store. Um, again, I'm going to run kbook here one more time, get kind of an idea on the words of dog training. And this, this is a really, really, really lucrative niche in my opinion. We can see tons of sales going on here and this is, uh, this is really, really ideal. We can see most of the books are under 100,000 and realistically, I mean, these, these are under 30,000. If you find this and the top four books are under 100,000, you're pretty good to go. The competition is really not that bad. Um, you know, this one's got 27 reviews. This one's got 15 reviews. This one's got five reviews. So what I'm looking for now as I start clicking through, and again, I really want you guys to get in the mentality of this. Can I create a similar but better book in the marketplace? Again, I'm not looking at this book that has 77 reviews. I'm not looking at this book that has 832 reviews because quite honestly, it's gonna take you a lot of time to build up that type of reviews. But anybody in the marketplace I know can go and get five reviews. You know, go, go into Facebook, um, Facebook groups, get on Twitter, get on YouTube, get on whatever you have to do. So let's dive into this book because I wanna go into it because I really, really feel like this is a prime example for you guys. We'll get back to the K book looking at this dog training niche in a second. But here's the mentality I'm looking at this. Again, I would create my book called Dog Trainer. Train your dog in just two weeks. You can also see that they've really heavily influenced the keywords here. Now, in my opinion, I don't know if I would really do this. This really looks sloppy. And this, what they've done is they've slammed a bunch of keywords into their series title. Um, but this kind of gives you an idea here of where I'd wanna be. Dog Training. Train your dog in just two weeks. Dog Training Guide for Dummies. I would maybe do the Dog Training Guide for Dummies. I would capitalize these. So really, this is, this is quite poor. I don't feel like this is a great, um, a great offering. Uh, the description isn't maybe the greatest. It's pretty blocky. 61,000 in the paid store. You know, these reviews are maybe not the best. You can see here, not very good. So to me, in my opinion, this is a home run. I could easily create a book better than this. I'm just clicking through Anita Rogers. Anita Rogers doesn't even have a um, author account. So you're not even competing against an authority in the marketplace. Uh, as an authority, you wanna be seeing an author profile. So again, this is two indications now in this niche, both from this Max Paco, P-A-C-O, hopefully I'm pronouncing that right, and Anita Rogers. Let's just go back to Max's book here. And let's see. Um, you know, so Max is doing a bit better. They've only got one, two, three books. I'm going to pull K-Book through one more time. 
And um, again, we can ignore this uh, result here, but let's look at these top three. I can see that dog training is a great niche, puppy training, and specifically on housebreaking is a great idea. And then smart puppy training system, step-by-step -step to training. Let's just click this to see. Increase puppy IQ and have more fun. Engage and well-trained dog within 60 days. So to me, this is a bit of a long-winded um, long title. Uh, again, not selling super well. Uh, but overall, I'm seeing a lot of really good indicators of this being a good niche. Okay, so we've decided now that we're going to dog training. Um, you know, there's dog tricks and so on. We'll run KBook again. And this is where I run my word cloud now. We'll just let this finish because it's loading the last things there. Okay, great. So if I'm getting into the word dog training, I want to be making sure that I've got the word uh, training. Interesting to see puppy. So again, you might do two different niches or two different styles of book. One for training your dog and one for puppies. Now I know me having a puppy when I was, uh, again, in February, her attention span was very short. So it was difficult for us to train. Um, you know, your, your methods for training a puppy might be fairly different than a full grown dog. So that's an idea. Uh, but again, I would be creating a book title, something like, um, you know, train your dog, uh, you know, or, or train your dog obedience training or, or something like that. Again, I'm just kind of going off the top of my head. You're going to have to kind of cultivate it. And then my, the thing that I really like doing is putting numbers within my titles. So again, 101 dog tricks, it's very particular and people know exactly what they're going to get five week training program seven exact steps. These are all great titles. They've got a very specific um, promise basically for your end customer. So hopefully this gives you guys a bit of an idea. I mean, I can really keep going deeper and deeper. You know, I found that puppy training was a great word. So let's grab puppy training quickly and we'll just type in here. And I'll just run Kbook here one more time. And again, these are crushing. You know, 21,000 in the paid store. Yes, there are some free ones in here. So again, I'm gonna zero in on something that I feel like I could create. Uh, right here, and I can instantly see this book. You can see it here, 33,000 in the paid store. It's only got 10 reviews. It's only uh, 36 pages long. And again, we can see that this niche is great because the average sales rank is actually quite low. So I might just click through this book. I'm gonna open it and see. And this book was released May 17, 2015. So this book has been making a boatload of money for months and months and months and months now. Uh, I'm gonna run it one more time just to kind of see, uh, you know, who wouldn't wanna make two to $300 a month in passive income off a book that you've made in May? Again, puppy training. Here's all your keywords that they're targeting here. So again, I would do your further research look at housebreaking, look at crate training, look at obedience training. The reason why this book is successful and I can see it already is, is a strategy that I consider calling the, the, uh, the river strategy, where each one of these keywords is targeting a different river of traffic. Amazon has all this organic traffic that is running right now. All it is for your job is to create good keywords so that people can discover your book. So I know that they're targeting puppy training. We've already assumed that that's a great uh, keyword. Uh, we've seen crate training pop up already. We've seen obedience training popping up already. We've seen housebreaking. So this person has done their research, just like I've been doing here in the last 10, 15 minutes, and really finding the common keywords within the niche. And again, it could be just a matter of running Kbook here quickly, hitting show word cloud, and boom, here's, here's another word, maybe potty. But Remember, I didn't start from keywords. I started from the mindset of what would somebody that's wanting to learn dog training uh, or how to train their dog be looking for? Really, this niche could be endless. But with that note, I wanna just give you guys one more idea here of maybe how you guys are potentially losing out. It's the language that you're using. For an example, uh, if I typed in canine training and I was, you know, that was my title, you can see most of these books don't even have the word canine as the front end title. And we'll just click through here. Hopefully this, this proves the point, we'll see. 
Do you see how a lot of these books are now over 100,000? It's in the same niche. It's still in dog training. But by me targeting the word canine, I'm really not going to succeed in this niche. So canine training may not be the right keyword, but it's still a fantastic niche for me to be in. And this is where I think a lot of people are making the mistakes. Figure out the niche and then figure out the language that your customers are using. So in this case, it's puppy training. It's dog training. It's the word obedience. It's the word crate training. Hopefully this clears it up, guys. Uh, I'll be doing a much more deep dive course on niche picking because it is definitely a, uh, a, a something that I know a lot of people struggle with. But I wanted to kind of give you guys the behind the scenes on how I would use the KBook software. You know, clicking through, checking out people's author profiles. You can see that this person's in do-it-yourself. I'll just click through here quickly. You know, I can see that their puppy training book is their best book. So again, that further cements that this book would be something to model. I know that I personally can get 10 reviews uh, and have a 36 page book. Buy this book, see what they're doing and do it better. And I guarantee you guys will start making money on the Kindle platform. Hope this helps guys. Thanks so much.